Hey, Air Signs. Welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today, we're going to do your full moon in the sign of Leo reading that will extend from February 9th to the 16th. Keep in mind, these are general readings. They cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. But if you would like a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. In case you are returning to the channel, thank you for joining me again today. And in case you're new to the channel, welcome. For all the newer viewers, I'm an intuitive reader. I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively, okay? I charge both decks with crystal organite pucks. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for our readings today. I also charge both decks on top of your own personalized astrological sign card. So again, this reading is for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising individuals. And I hope everyone is doing well. Um, before I start, I'm going to ask that you guys continue to like, share, and subscribe. Every time you like the videos and view the videos, it goes into circulation so that more people can get the messages, okay? So I'm not just doing it just for myself, you know. This is so that the collective could get messages because there's a lot of people like us who need some type of clarity and reassurance and confirmation. So when you like, share, and subscribe, you do a favor for all of us, okay? So And I'm grateful for you guys, you know, who keep coming back and who keep watching and who join me for these messages, okay? Two messages for you guys. First of all, I don't do readings on full moons or new moons. I actually did one on this channel once. And this is a newer channel. This channel actually just started in October. I've been, it's been up for a while, but I had my very first video was in October of 2019. So the first message that I heard for you guys is um, in regards to your children. And I heard specifically children between the ages of three and six. If you have children between those ages, pay attention to what it is that they're saying. Because I feel like a lot of them are showing signs of intuitive abilities. Okay. A lot of you're going to start to realize that your child may be very intuitive. It's nothing to be scared about. It's nothing to be creeped out about. It's just really something that you need to pay attention to. Um, and I'm hearing specifically, if not between those ages, the oh, your oldest child. Because I'm going to tell you one thing. If you yourself are intuitive, you more than likely have children who have that same ability. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And, and don't discount what they're saying because I feel like this, the main message in this is that whatever they're saying, especially if it's off kilter or if it's off topic or something that they wouldn't typically be saying, it's going to tie into something that regards your everyday life. And it's going to hit you. I feel like you're not even going to have to think hard about it. I feel like this message, whatever it is that they're saying to you, it's going to be something that resonates with you. And you'll be like, oh, okay. So, so pay attention to what it is these children are saying because I'm telling you, they're, they're bringing you guys messages. The second one is, if you're a person like me, like I live in Chicago. So if you're a person like me where it's a lot of rain or a lot of snow, get a cup and either put your cup or your bowl outside so it can catch rain or snow. Go outside, scoop some snow up. And if you do meditations, prayers, and rituals, put the water on your altar or wherever your sacred place is. Even if you say, for instance, you're like me and you do tarot or you do some type of, you know, spiritual work, use the water, rub it in your hands, you know, because that's spirit energy, right? Because that's natural. That comes from the earth. And that is one of our elements in how we keep ourselves alive and how we are balanced in life. You know, earth, air, fire, water, earth, you know, and that's a very important. I'm sorry. I'm being nosy looking out my window at my neighbors. Um, that's a very powerful tool of manifestation honoring those elements because without those without all four of those elements we are not we couldn't be here we couldn't exist okay so that's the way to honor the elements right so that's the message that i was meant to give you guys okay so let's get started on your reading i always do everything on camera you see i just separated it right at the bottom of the deck you have the four of pentacles first of all pentacles is you guys energy towards virgo capricorn sun moon rising venus and if you look in the background what you got Looks like a full moon, right? I feel like during this time, some of you guys may be having some money issues or you could be holding on to a love interest, right? And I feel like during this time, you're going to get messages, first of all, because like I said, we are currently having this full moon in Leo today. I'm, I'm recording it today during the full moon. But also keep in mind, three days before, during, and three days after, the energy of a full moon and a new moon is very powerful. So if you're a sensitive, energy sensitive person, you're going to pick up these energies and you're going to feel these vibrations. And I feel like today, either today or the next three days, and that makes sense because you have the four of pentacles, one pentacle today, and the other three pentacles the next three days, you know, between that time frame, a lot of you guys are going to start getting messages regarding a love interest or your finances. Because somebody's holding on tightly to something as we part of the deck so that we can shuffle. Yeah. 
somebody's holding on tightly to something. And I say that because the, with the death card, the death card is the ending of one cycle and the beginning of another. And if you look at the cards, this, I'm trying to hold it back because I'm right up under my light. Um, this four of pentacles, you see he's looking in the direction of the death card. But nonetheless, <laughs> the death card is here. He's still holding on. He's still holding on to something from his past. Like, I don't care what you come in because the death card is major arcana. Major arcanas are things that we don't have complete control over. We are co-creators in everything in our life, every existence, every, you know, every facet of our life. But major arcanas is cards that let us know that there are energies that the universe is going to come sweep in and help change things or assist in some type of change. And regardless of the fact that this is present, somebody's holding on tightly to something that they more than likely need to let go of. And I feel like you're going to get messages about that between today and the next couple days. Next three days, specifically. Look at that. And then you, yeah. And I feel like, like, I felt initially it was about love because now you had a Ten of Cups in reverse and then you have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. You're going to find out that you need to let go of somebody or something that you felt like was home. Most definitely. Yeah, somebody felt like home to you. You built a home with somebody. And I feel like this will not apply to every single person. So keep that in mind. But you will know if this applies to you. I feel like somebody knows that something has ended, but they're holding on to it and they're needing to let go of it. Because I feel like even though it's, it's comfortable and safe, or I won't say safe, it's comfortable it's toxic in a way i feel like i feel like it's not it's not really serving you right because now you have the two of swords upright and then you have the ten <laughs> and then you have the ten of cups i'm laughing because you got the two of swords right so this is somebody who regardless of what they feel they want to keep a blind eye to the situation because they feel like i want to keep this happy home life but is it really happy is the question you know because i don't think it would have showed up that way because you don't you don't get the death card and then these cards following it. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. Like something needs to end. And it doesn't even have to be something like really dramatic. Like oh, leave your husband, leave your wife right now. Just leave everybody. Leave the dog, leave the kids and just head out of here. It could be something as the way that the foundation was built up or the lack thereof foundation, the way the situation or the marriage or the relationship is right now, it needs to end. Certain aspects of it needs to end. Okay. We're going to get two cards. One is going to be a general energy. One is going to be a possible outcome. And then we'll have um, two, a clarifier for each. Now, too many popped out, but I'm going to acknowledge the energy. <laughs> I have to because this came out again. Okay. You have four pentacles in reverse again. Somebody is letting go. And then you have the five of swords. I just said, I just said, like something is going on where you're trying to keep this home life, but it's, it's becoming too much. You're tired. And I know that because look in the background, you got two people. Somebody is completely down on the ground, face down. And then you have someone who is on their knees, like they're tired. They give up enough. And you have that four of pentacles in reverse, somebody letting go. And then on top of that, you have the king of cups. So you can have water sign in your chart. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in your chart. Or you could be dealing with somebody who has to, you could be dealing with a water sign, right? But more than anything, look at these main two cards. Because I feel like you guys could be dealing with somebody who has some strong water sign placements. Look at these two cards. You you know you need to let go. That's that's your message. You know you need to let go of the situation. Because with that five of swords, it just confirmed what I said. Because you see how before I said the home life feels safe. And then I said, well, not safe. With that five of swords just popping up right now, it's not safe. You're just comfortable with it. You're comfortable. Okay. You're comfortable with it, but you're starting to realize that you need to let it go because you're all in your head about it. Again, you see she's blindfolded, just like the two of swords. You're all in your head. The source cards is about messages, communication, um, thoughts, mainly thoughts. You're in your head about it, but it's like you're in your head about it, but you know, and I, I, I'm not going to. Okay, it's making sense to me now. I'm not going to say, just get up and leave. Like I said, it's, it may be impossible for you. And that's why you see the four of pentacles. Not only are you holding on to the situation, but you're holding on to it because of finances. You or this other person. I feel like this is you, earth sign. Because, of course, it was the four of pentacles, right? This is That's earth sign energy. And we know in readings it doesn't always have to be like that. But I feel specifically like you guys are holding on to the situation because of finances, and you're in your head about how can you provide for yourself and not struggle. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody's worried about struggling if they leave the situation. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, 
I'm telling you right now, a lot of you guys are dealing with a water sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, will rising, or somebody with these strong placements. If it's not you, I don't feel like it's you though. Not with this energy. I feel like this is your energy. And I feel like you are wanting to move away from someone with these placements. Because you see how he's riding in a direction. Yeah, this Knight of Cups is riding in the direction of the Eight of Swords. This is you in your head and this is your partner or the, or the love interest. And this isn't somebody new. This is somebody that you already have some type of life with. Long. Could possibly have been eight years that you've had this connection with this person. You. You in your head about it. Cause you, but you know this needs to end. You know this needs to end. Okay. At the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the deck, you have the two of cups in reverse. You guys see me do everything on camera. This this needs to end. Whatever this situation is. And I know you don't want to hear this, but guess what? I'm doing this during the full moon, right? And you know, full moons, any moon phase illuminates situations that we need to pay attention to or things that we're not seeing. So don't take it as something negative. You take it as a tool for you to build on and so that you can know how to manipulate a situation to its best outcome for you. I know a lot of people will be upset about it, but I'm a realist. I don't, I don't do sugar coating with stuff. I'm a realist. You know, you need to end the situation because this person always has you in your head and stressed out. This is stress. This is stress. And I feel like this person knows that you're stressed about it. He got his cup in the air, cheering and shit. Who are you cheering to? You know, who are you toasting? And then you have the eight of wands in reverse. You, you two may not even be communicating right now. You two may not even, either you're not communicating or when you do, it's not on the best of terms. With the eight of wands in reverse, this is in reverse. So you have the lover's card in reverse. Then you have the eight of wands in reverse. You guys are having a lot of conflict with this person. And when you communicate, it's not of the best, you know, it's not of the best quality. You have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and then a lover's card. Again, I want to say this is you guys who are in your head about this, most definitely, because you're still, you're wanting to try to hold out and keep this lover's card upright. You're wanting to see if you can resolve this. You're wanting to see if you can keep this relationship together. But again, anything that makes you feel like this. You really have to think that over and over. You have to you have to think about that. Look at that. Again, same cards. So again, I always say in my videos, anytime I see the same cards over and over again, when I'm shuffling, you guys are watching me shuffle. This is going to be last shuffle because I know that the messages are completely ready for us for the reading. And even still, it's coming up in reverse again. So I feel like this is the other person that you're dealing with because now you have the Queen of Pentacles, your energy upright. And yeah, okay. <laughs> That's the message that they want me to look at. I said earlier, I feel like a lot of you guys are holding on to this relationship because of finances. Look at her. She's focused on this pinnacle. Her eyes are completely on this pinnacle. A lot of you guys are refusing to cut ties with this person because of finances. I understand it. I'm not judging. I get it, but you're going to deal with that for this. Because that's what a lot of you are dealing with right now. You're dealing with this heartbreak, this this constant sleepless night. Because even look at the car, it's like this dark skies and like these little shimmery stars. You see shimmery stars in the background. So it's like you have a sleepless nights over this situation. At the bottom of the deck, again, eight of wands, the community in reverse. So this communication with you and this per <laughs> with you and this person could be hostile. You got two cars. I didn't even get to shuffle. I didn't even get to shuffle. I didn't even get to shuffle. This is your message. Are we going to question this at all? You have the page of pentacles. And then you have the five of pentacles in reverse. Okay, the five of pentacles is upright. It's about feeling abandoned, left out in a cold, lack. Somebody feeling lack because of a certain situation. Both of them are pentacle cards. Again, we've seen that queen of pentacles. And you see how you see this, this page of pentacles? Look at him. Again, his focus is on this one pinnacle. He's so focused on this pinnacle. This is you guys' energy. And this came up in reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like you're willing to hold on to whatever to keep your finances in check. But look how this person looks battered and withered. Their clothes are tattered. Like they have been through the ringer with this person. And I feel like whoever you were dealing with was kind of... I feel like this is this other person. You see how he's upright? This page of colors is upright and he's like cheering and he's happy and he's he's bucking up. I feel like this was the person in our five of course that we've seen. He feels victorious. Like he feels like you're not going to he or she. 
This person feels like you're not going anywhere because they hold the finances in their hand. And that's why they look like they are celebratory and victorious. This person feels like you're not going anywhere because they hold the finances. And then you see this came up in reverse. I just turned it upright so you guys could see the imagery. But look at this. You guys are holding on to the situation because it is literally financially abundant. Your home life is stable. But is it really? Because look how raggedy they looking. And I'm, <laughs> I'm hearing like this is a raggedy relationship. You're keeping it together for finances, but I'm hearing that this is a raggedy relationship. It is just as it's toxic. It feels heavy. Again, this won't apply to every single person. So if you're getting a comment saying some weird stuff about, you know, how this doesn't apply to me, and da -da -da, I'm going to delete it. This is my page. This is my channel. I, you know, I do. I'm just giving you the messages that I pick up collectively. And when you pick up collective messages, it's just like a lot of people may be going through this at the time and it's being illuminated with this full moon energy, you know, specifically. You know, look at how it was with the queen when we seen it. Go back in the video and she was holding on to that one pin, that one pinnacle and her eye was gazing directly at that pinnacle. And look at him. I'm here an eye on the prize and that's the prize is this money. So it's like you're willing to stick this out with this person even though it's making you so unhappy. Out of four cards, look at your look at the cards in your reading. You know what I mean? Why would you want these two energies in any reading together? This person, this this energy is is just stressing you out so much, and you feel defeated and deflated. You may be dealing with someone who's very arrogant, very hot, very arrogant. And you're dealing with it because of money. And you're dealing with it because you don't want to be left out in the cold. And that's why this came up in reverse. You don't want to feel left out in the cold. You don't want to feel abandoned. You don't want to feel like you're, you've are fallen on financial hardship. But mentally, it's, it's playing a huge number on you. Mentally. And I feel like this person knows it. This person knows. This person knows that they hold the finances. Yep. Yep. This person knows that they hold the finances. Look at her. She's on her knees and she has um like these chains around her wrists. And I'm sorry about the glare because I'm literally, it's dark outside. And I'm literally right up under this light. But she, she feels restrained and she feels like she doesn't have, like her hands are tied. And again, you would know how to supply to you, he or she. And I feel like this is your energy. You feel like your hands are tied because this person holds the finances. And you're like, well... I've been dealing with this person for a long time. I definitely feel like that because, you know, they've been through some things together. Look at their clothes. They've been, you and this person have been through some things together and you feel like, you know, right now, why should I cut ties now? We've been through things before. We're going to keep going through things. Mm. It's That's heavy. But, you know, I can't tell you what to do. I'm just reading the energy, but that's heavy because it's, it's you're constantly feeling restless about this. And I'm really getting egotistical. You know, the Knight of Cups is about, you know, the cup, Knights and Pages are about, those are messengers. They're coming in with messages. This hell, this person could even be coming in and telling you like, okay, you can leave, but you're not leaving with this money. That could be one of the messages. But I feel like this person has said some things that was degrading to you. And that's why we seen, again, go back in the video and we seen that five of swords. And you see how one person felt victorious and somebody was on their knees feeling like they, they were losing the battle again on the knees. I feel like this person even said something to you that lets you know that they really don't think that much of you and they feel like, okay, if you leave, you're not taking anything with you. This could be you who says this or it could be another partner, but I feel like you are dealing with somebody who has control over the finances and I'm feeling like my throat is feeling like choked up or whatever. That's the throat chakra. <clears throat> so again, like I said, I feel like they're gonna, it's, they're, they're talking ill. There's some ill speech. Yeah, ill speech because the swords, again, that's communication, thoughts, communication, messages, text, verbal, mental. This person is speaking ill. They, they've said some things that was like hurtful, very hurtful things. And you're wondering if you should stick it out for finances and because you have history with them. Yeah. I'm sorry that was such a heavy reading, but I'm just giving you guys the messages. Of course, this won't apply to every single person, but if this resonates with you, then you know what to do. You know what I mean? It, it kind of gives you a step into 
how to move forward or what to just to sit down and have realization. Cause especially if you came here for confirmation, it's giving you confirmation. Like, yeah, it's, it, it, it is as bad as you may feel like it is, or it is as heavy and you may need to sit down and reflect. And I don't want to sound say bad. Cause that's, that's like horrible to say, but I'm just saying in the sense of like, it is a difficult situation. It is. And you're just now coming to turn you and you're needing to come to terms with it or else you're going to continue to be in your mind about it. Okay. So, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.